Ink Lady Bougie is my life. And hi, my name's Queen Elizabeth. But first, I will be 44 years. I was born on September 7th, 1530. I passed away on March 24th, 1603, Richmond, England. My dad is King Henry VIII. I am famous because of my political position and my many talents. I brought military success and enhanced political importance to the nation and was thrown in jail one time because when my sister was queen, she thought I was trying to take over. I stayed in jail for two months. Now let me leave you with this thought. When I roll my blend, trueness, Courage and majestic self display inspired fiery expressions of loyalty and helped defy the nation against fortune enemies. I know how to fly, I'm not that interested in money. Hi, I'm John Chapman, or better known as Johnny Appleseed. I know we're planting Appleseeds all over the world. I was born September 26th. 1774 in Leominster, Massachusetts. I had 11 siblings. My stepmom's name is Elizabeth and my dad's name is Nathaniel. I'm famous because I'm an agriculturist missionary. I'm a very welcome visitor around the world. I'm friends with Native Americans. I died March 18, 1845. After my death, my life was recorded with stories as a folk hero. Johnny Appleseed, the name I'm almost known as. Now let me leave you with this thought. If you like apples, you owe a debt of gratitude to me for helping spread them throughout America. I was 200 years ago. I'm still known as one of the best explorers throughout history. Hi, my name is Sakatoria. I was born in 1788 at the part of the Shoshone tribe in Idaho. Me and my husband had two children. I'm famous for helping Meriwether Lewis and William Clark on their journey to the Pacific Ocean. I served as chancellor and guide on the 18-month journey. During the journey, I had to go up something important to me, my beaded belt, so that Lewis and Clark could get President Jefferson a fur coat. I served as a symbol of peace and was very adventurous. Now let me leave you on this thought. While there are so many mysteries about my life, we all know I was strong and full of courage, and I am honored to be on the Golden Dollar Coin. I am not only considered a military and a revolutionary hero, but a man of great personal integrity with deep sense of duty honor, and patriotism. Hi, I'm George Washington. I was the first president of the United States. I was born February 22nd, 1732 in Western Virginia. My father died April 12, 1743. I got married to Martha January 6th, 1759. I'm famous because I was the first president of the United States and I was leader of the Continental Army during the Revolutionary War for our country its freedom. And I was the first person to sign the United States Constitution. Now let me leave you with this thought, it's better to offer no excuse than a bad one. Best way to predict the future is private. Hi, my name is Abraham Lincoln. I was the 16th president of the United States. I was born on February 12, 1809 in Hardin County, Kentucky. My wife was Mary Todd Lincoln and my children were Robert, Edward, William, and Thomas. I'm famous for leading the, the country during the American Civil War and freedom of all slaves. I also set up the national banking system. Some interesting facts about me that I was the tallest president at six feet and four inches and I was the first president to have a full beard. Now let me leave you with this thought. The ballot is stronger than the bullet. I became one of the leading health activists in my lifetime. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Blackwell, and I was the first female to get a medical Agree. I was born in 1821, Briscoe, England. I was the third of nine children. My parents' names are Hannah Lane and Samuel Blackwell. I'm famous because I was the 
first woman to get a medical degree in the United States and the first woman from England. I started a medical school for women and medical clinic for poor women and children. I now let me leave you with this thought. It is not easy to be a pioneer, but oh, it is fascinating. My Paul called me Hopper, but my real name is Laura. Hi, my name is Laura Ingalls Wilder, and I am the author of the Little House series. I was born in Pepin, Wisconsin, February 7, 1867. I have three sisters, Mary, Carrie, and Grace. I have a husband, Alonzo Wilder, and a daughter, Rose Wilder. I am famous for being the most influential children's author in American history because I portrayed it what it was like to live as an American pioneer. I signed up to teach in a one-room schoolhouse at the age of 15. When I was 65, I published my first book of Little House series. I then decided to write seven more about my life as an American pioneer. I finished the Little House series in 1943 when I was 76 years old. My books eventually became a popular television series. Now let me leave you with this thought. It is better to be honest and truthful to make the best of what you have and to be happy with the simple pleasures. Have you ever wondered who the first person was to have a su successful flight? Hi, my name is Wilbur Wright and I was the first person to fly. I was born in Millville, Indiana on April 16, 1867. I had a brother named Orville, Orville Wright. I never got married and never had children. My inspiration to fly was when my dad brought home a toy helicopter. A rather interesting fact about me is that I am famous for making the first successful aircraft with a motor. I took my first su successful flight in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. It lasted 12 seconds and went 120 feet. I became known as the father of innovation. Now let me leave you with this thought. It is impossible to fly without a motor, but not without knowledge and skill. Every strike brings me closer to a home run. Hi, my name is Ben Pearson. I am a famous baseball player. I was born on February 6, 1865 in Baltimore, Maryland. I played for the New York Yankees, Boston Red Sox, and the Atlanta Braves. Um, my parents are Catherine Schamberger and George George Kurt Herman Ruth. I was married two times and had two daughters. I'm famous for the amount of home runs I've had. Mm -hmm. so, and some interesting facts is that I had 2,873 baseballs and had 714 home runs. Now I'm going to leave you off with this thought. Baseball was, is, and always will be the best sport in the whole wide world. I might have been given a bad break, but I got an awful lot to live for. Hi, my name is Lou Gehrig, and I am a famous baseball player. I was born June 19, 1903 in New York. New York, I played for the New York Yankees, and my wife is Eileen Lou Gehrig, my parents are Christina Fox and Henrik, Henrik Skerig. I had two siblings, and I am famous for my 2,130 consecutive games played. I, some interesting facts about me are I am a seven-time All-Star player and a two-time Most Valuable player. Now, let me leave you with this talk. I consider myself the luckiest man on the face of earth. Keep your face to the sunshine and you cannot see the shadow. Hi, my name is Helen Keller and I joined the American Foundation for the Blind to help other people like me. I was born June 27, 1880 in Tuscumbia, Alabama. I got an illness at the age of 19 months which left me deaf and blind. I'm famous because I accomplished many things despite being both deaf and blind. By the time I was seven, I had invented more than 60 signs to communicate with others. I could also read whole books in Braille. I wrote my first book in 1903. I worked for the Ameri 
Kim Foundation of Overseas Blind and I traveled to 35 countries on five continents. Through my many speeches and appearances, I brought inspiration and encouragement to millions of people. Now let me leave you with this thought. Although the world is full of suffering, it is full also of the overcoming of it. I love people who make me laugh. I honestly think it's the thing I like most. The cures a multitude of ills. It's probably the most important thing in a person. Hello, my name is Audrey Hepburn. You may have heard of me before because I'm a famous actress of the 20th century. I was born on May 4th, 1929, and I I shot in a number of films throughout the 1950s and 60s. Those films include Sabrina and Breakfast of Tiffany's. I've been married twice and have two sons. When I was younger, I studied ballet and worked as a model. However, I soon began to study acting. My career started off on Broadway and the show. I continued to study acting. I landed in my first major American film on Roman Holiday and began communicating work with the UNICEF towards the end of the I got on January 20th, 1923. I was 63 years old. My legacy still was on many of the classic films of the 20th century. Now let me leave you with this thought. The most important thing is to enjoy our life, to be happy. That's all that matters. Doe, a deer, a female deer, Ray, a double footed thing, me, and you, I call myself. My name is Julie Andrews, and I am well known for my role in the sound music singing that song. I was born October 1st, 1935, in Surrey, England. I was married twice and had five children. I started singing when when I was just 10 years old. I am famous for being in many movies, including Mary Poppins, My Fair Lady, and The Sound of Music. I was inducted into the Theater Hall of Fame in 1997. I received nominations for both the Academy Award and Golden Globe. Now let me leave you with this thought. If you hold on to your words, your voice will pull through for you when you're sitting sitting to your boss. We have a complex system of generation. We have to teach it to every government. Hi, my name is Sandra Day O'Connor, and I was the first female justice to serve in the United States Supreme Court. I was born March 26, 1930, in El Paso, Texas. I married one of my classmates in 1952 named John J. O'Connor III and I have three sons. I am famous for acting as a sturdy as a sturdy guiding hand for the court's decisions. I I wrote many different books and I went to Stanford University. Now let me leave you with this thought. The power I exert on the court depends on my argument, not my gender. Guys, I can say there's a lot of how my name Jack Hanna that you may know me as Jungle Jack. I was kind of zero after for 42 years. I got my first job when I was 11 years old, working also with my family that I married in. After I graduated from West Lincoln College, I started, started a petting zoo called Pet Kingdom, which I had attractions of exotic animals and a petting zoo. I became the club student in 1978 and turned it to the one in the world. Innovative and future in the United States. Now, let me leave you with that. The legacy will be immensely proud to leave behind us the compass you. I type all of my stories with just one finger. Hi, my name is Arthur Linson Sign, best known as Earl Sign. I was born in a town known as Betsy, in Columbus, Ohio, in the year 1943. I had a mom, a younger brother named Bill, and a daughter named Dwight in the three-story house. I am famous for creating a lot of screen novels, like this one, Fear Street, New Girl, How to Be Funny, and an autobiography about myself. Over 180 million copies of my Goosebumps books have been sold. My inspiration for creating Goosebumps and Fear Street comes from my scary act I had when I was a kid on the third floor of the three-story house. Now let me leave you with the stuff. The formula for creating my stories is to have ordinary kids, a girl, a girl and a boy, not especially talented or brilliant, they have to use their wits and imagination to solve the problem they are facing. And the parents are always useless in my books. When I was a little girl in California, my father and mother wanted me to play tennis. And here I am now with one of Grimson titles. Hi, my name is Serena Williams and I am a tennis player. I was born on September 26, 1981 in Michigan. 
I am famous for winning more grand slam titles than any other woman or men during the open era, which means I won all four major championships in the same calendar season. In the Olympics, my sister Venice and I won two gold medals in the doubles event. I also formed the Serena Williams Foundation for Unprivileged Children and built schools in Africa. In 2012, I released an autobiography called Queen of the Courts. Venus and I are considered the best women's tennis players in the world. Now let me leave you with this thought. I've always said a champion isn't about how they win, but it is about how they recover from their downs. The whole point of the Olympic Games is to inspire a generation. I always wanted to play that role. Hi, my name is Gabriella Douglas. I am an Olympic gymnast. I was born on December 31st, 1995 in Virginia Beach, Virginia. I have a mom, dad, two older sisters, and one older brother. My older sister was the one who introduced me to gymnastics, and by the age four, I taught myself how to do a one-handed carb. I began formal gymnastics training when I was six and won state championship by the time I was eight. I am famous because at the 2012 Olympic Games in London, I became both the first American to claim gold medals in the team and individuals on events and the first African American to win the all-around title. My ability to gain extraordinary height in the air when releasing from the apparatus is the reason my nickname, the Flying Scroll. Now let me leave you with this thought, never quit and never give up.